Hi everyone, and welcome to part 7 of a video series I'm doing of an ATV trip my friends and I did across the province of Newfoundland in September of 2018. On this particular day, we went on a beautiful backcountry ATV tour with the owners of Pirate's Haven, Paul and Ruth. Pirate's Haven is an RV park that also has three beautiful chalets, and the best part for us is that they're ATV friendly. Paul and Ruth took us up into the mountains, and we stopped at their cabin, then we continued on to a beautiful lookout high up in the mountains, and then finally we stopped at a beautiful pond with a sandy beach for a moose meat barbecue and cookout. When we returned back to Pirate's Haven, they fed us a fresh Atlantic salmon dinner. It was a fantastic day and something that you could enjoy as well. Just get in touch with Paul and Ruth if you're interested. It'd be nice and muddy. It'd be the, it'd be the type of day I could chuck some mud at people. Whoever's close, it's usually Paul. Going on a tour with Paul and Ruth was a really nice treat for us because usually we know where we're going to start, we know where we're going to finish, and this day we went with them, they led us, we didn't know where we were going or where they were going to take us. Uh, we started on some backwoods trails, we had a quick stop at their cabin, then we went on up into the mountains. Our destination for the day was Micah Pond, which is actually visible in the background there. Uh, so we stopped here for a quick photo break. And on our way back down, we had the first and only flat of the entire trip. And uh, I think it happened on the way up. And Dale uh, must have rubbed a sharp rock on the side and put a couple of holes in the same tire. Luckily, it was easily patched. Well, it was on your side. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. Maybe we should do one more for good measure in that one. That looks like she's gonna push out though. That doesn't seem to think. Just as we were leaving Micah Pond, Paul's uh, machine would start and it would run briefly and then shut off and it happened over and over and we couldn't get it to run so we weren't sure what happened. Um, so Paul and Ruth towed it out uh, with their Can-Am Defender, they have a big six-seater and it, uh, pulled it out absolutely no problem like it wasn't even there. We got it back to uh, Pirate's Haven that night and took a look at it for a while. We couldn't figure out quite what was wrong. But, uh, we ended up having to have the machine uh, sent back to Nova Scotia. Uh, so Paul rode with me uh, the next day. Not doing it. So what ended up being the problem, you might be asking? Turns out it was a blown fuse. I can't believe we didn't spot that. We had probably six guys looking at the machine. We were looking at the air box. We were looking at spark plugs. We were looking at all kinds of things. And uh, somehow we missed uh, a blown fuse. My friends and I, we've done this Newfoundland trip several times, and usually we start in the east in Argentia, and we work our way westward all week until we get to Porta Basque, and then we take that ferry up back to Nova Scotia. So that means our last night, usually every year, we spend in Robinson's at the Pirate's Haven. There's several reasons why we stay here. It's very close to the rail bed, so it's very convenient. The chalets are beautiful. The service is great. Paul and Ruth treat you like you're their own family. They're located in the southwest region of Newfoundland, which in my opinion has some of the best scenery in the entire island. Some people want to take their ATVs over to Newfoundland and see some of the beautiful backcountry, but they either don't have the time or don't feel like crossing the entire island. So a good option would be to get on the ferry from Nova Scotia, take the short ferry over to Port of Basque, which is only six hours, and then do a southwest tour. You could get off, see some of the beautiful mountains and lakes, and the coastal scenery drive as far as Robinson's and then have Paul and Ruth take you for a day tour or two 
up in that area and do some exploring and then turn around and come back. You could spend three or four days doing that and you only have to take the short ferry over and you'd still see some of the best scenery the entire island has to offer. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please take the time to click the subscribe button and then the notification icon that's next to it so you don't miss any of my future videos. The next video is going to be the final video in our series and we start off in Robinson's, we go around Robinson's Bluff. We stop at both Codroy Pond and Little Codroy Pond. We drive up to a few mountain peaks, JT Cheeseman Provincial Park, finally make our way back to the ferry terminal. It's a great day. You're not going to want to miss it.